Thank you, Mad Fox 68. Thank you. Hi, everyone. It's uh, it's Mr. and Mrs. MLG here for Two Pain Tuesday. Fire and ice. <laughs> Pete says, hi, Jade. <laughs> Why is it fire and ice? Well, because I'm doing snow and you're doing a demon, and that's like... Uh, Come on, I've got to have some creative license. I see. I see. <laughs> hi, Pete. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Crafty. Hi, Crafty. Hi, Grogs. Hi, Tony. Hi, John. Hi, Madbox. <laughs> so, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Are we, are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, uh, first of all, are, are we echoey today? Because I've got my mic on. Or are we okay? Hi, Tonako. So, yesterday, uh, while Nathan was painting the demon lasher uh, demagogue that he's got over there, I was painting these little penguins from Reaper. Ah, thanks, John. Oh no, Pando's crying because he's hungry. Guys, he's so demanding, that Pando. Pando is our community pet that you can feed from the monster rewards. He's up at the top left there and he's crying. So I was painting these little penguins from, from Reaper and tonight I'm going to attempt to do a base. Uh, awesome, sounds cool. And now we all have to remember, now everybody who is from the Discord already knows this, but we all have to remember that this is not a tutorial, this is just me making it up as we go along. Mm. Hey Wickedee! So the idea is I'm going to make some kind of snowy kind of base uh, for my penguins. These penguins, I think, are, are they attack pack penguins? Penguin attack pack. Yeah, same difference. And they come with this big dude as well, but I didn't like him. Or I didn't like him as much, so I didn't. I haven't painted him yet. He may get painted, uh, but that's the that's the pack. Yeah, hello, hello, penguin. So I've only painted these these three. Yes, tactical pingos. That's correct. So the idea that I'm going with is that I am going to use this base, which is oh a reaper as well, isn't it? This one. I think so. Yeah. I'm going to use this base, I'm going to put the penguins on it, I'm going to stick some snow on, see what happens, right? So, how I do snow <laughs> is I find stuff from the cupboard. So I'm going to be using some brain clegg sand, which we do actually sell, and it's only $1.99 for this great big, uh, great big bottle, and we have red, blue, black, yellow, purple, green, orange and white and as it's snow I am going to be using the white and I am going to mix it with uh, PVA. We do sell PVA as well but this is Little Misses that I have stolen from her. Shh, don't tell her. So I'm going to be mixing it and then I also have some bits of pasta out of the cupboard that may be mountains, not sure yet. And I equally have cork, Javis cork, which we sell, which may make more convincing little lumps. Not quite sure yet. They're probably probably a, be a better size than the pasta shell, but we shall see. So I was going to stick them on and then cover them in sand um, and mix to make little higher up snowy blobs. There may be some frozen tufts involved. I haven't decided yet. They are unpaid ones. There may be some of this fluffy snow stuff, but I haven't decided that yet either. So there you go. That is what I am doing. I am going to use my cotton wool bud box that I normally use to mix my paint and PVA. Uh, had to sellotape up the ends because the first time I used it I forgot that there's two there's two holes in the bottom uh, probably for some safety reason and all the PVA came out so that's always fun so that's what I'm doing I wanted to explain it to you so that you didn't just wonder it, what I was doing over here while Nathan is painting yes snowy blobs that's the best description that's all you're getting from me snowy blobs I mean come on so I'm going to mix some in here and I'm just going to play and see what happens. So there you go. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to stop talking now. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> Thanks, 
Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so I am going to be uh, carrying on doing a little bit of work on uh, on the demonic lasher that we've got here. This uh, this beast of a model. It's coming along uh, coming along nicely. I've been painting it for the past twenty minutes or so. Uh, there we go. So I've just been uh, blacking in the little spiky protrusions around the outside on its uh, under its arms here and uh, what have you. I've done its teeth a base coat of uh, color on there and yeah horns. So then next we're gonna uh, we're gonna do eyes next I think. Eyes and teeth and fur is the uh, the next priority. Trying out a new brush this evening as well. This uh, so when we got our last Rosemary and Co delivery, uh, I had made a little bit of a boo boo and ordered uh, some wrong brushes basically. And this is one of the brushes that I ordered incorrectly. I'll show it off to you properly in a second. There we go. This is uh, look at the uh, look at the length of that bad boy. That's uh, you can't really tell it. The bristles uh, go from here to here. It is very very long. If I hold it up next to this Citadel brush that I've got there, you'll be able to see how long uh, how long the bristles are on this thing. Really really huge. This is a Series 88 Sable Number no. One. Uh, and I've used this for everything I've painted this evening. <clears throat> Ooh, Grog says, Not to be cringy or anything, but MLG streams and the plethora of items you all have for sale make my free time so fun, and I'm just very grateful for you to be, for being amazing and lovely people, sending thanks from the northeast of Scotland. That's very oh, kind of you, Grogs. Nice Thank you very much. Oh, Grogs has gifted a sub awesome to thank you very much goblin square awesome i, I believe hey yeah. how are you doing? hi that's very kind of you Greg. thank that's you that's superb you. thank you he's gone outside now john he'll uh, be eating some sticks somewhere <laughs> and i should imagine that's his favorite pastime eating sticks and other people's socks Obviously, other people's. He doesn't have his own yeah, socks. Just, and he goes, there's a supply of socks. Yeah, he's been, been eating mine again today. <laughs> yeah, he likes made, eating yours. Made That's a one. hole in one of them last night. Got one here, look. Just have to take it off him. There you go. It's, it's clean, don't worry. Oh, you're here, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Got you, mate. Took it out of the uh, laundry basket for the stuff that had come off the washing line. What a gift. So, as promised, last night we're going to do eyes, so we're going to start with nuclear white, and then we're going to make them pink, because I did say that I was going to do them pink. So, here we go. Fortunately, it's got some quite big eyeballs, so it shouldn't make too much of a mess of this. Cork, just to see. Probably won't dry in time, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? What's the matter? You want to say hello to John? Is that what's up? <laughs> I don't think you can fit. Trying to get on your knee. There he is. There's his nose. Oh, there he is. Come with me. Come with me. Hmm. He might eat my cork if I let him. <laughs> Ooh, tasty cork. <laughs> Uh, 
painting the eyeballs white currently. Oh, so it's nice and bright pink. Yeah. I'll see. Yeah, we want it to stand out, don't we? Oh, well, it's just. A bit of had a uh, had a bit of fluff on it. Gizmo's just dropped his ball into the box of Geek Gaming Scenics, which are new items which I'm supposed to be adding to the website. So that's not going to be very good, is it? He just wants to play. Well, gentlemen, I'm not so good. I have officially vacated and back home sick for over a week, and the doctor can't find what the problem is. They did take some blood today to examine. Oh no, I, I saw that you weren't feeling great on uh, on Twitter, Roy. But I hope that you'd got got better. But obviously, obviously not. I hope they find out what it is soon and get you some. Uh, relevant treatment sending well wishes across the water I hope you feel better soon right I uh, I'm gonna work a little bit on these teeth I think so I thought I'd try this brush out because I've had it a little while. It's got super, super long bristles. So hopefully I can uh, use it comfortably without getting uh, paint all up into the uh, all up into the end. There's a wild Pokemon in chat, everybody. A uh, bird might perhaps. Now, you may wonder, I, I often wonder what I do, but you may wonder why I have used white sand and PVA to make snow instead of just using some snow flop, which I do have, it's over there. I find uh, it's more fun, it's just more fun. You can you can manipulate it and make it blobby. You know, see, there's another good descriptive word for you and mould it around so if I want to build it up in certain places I find that it's easy to do that and lots of fun and because I've mixed it with the PVA it will stick where I have stuck it so I'm going to try and cover these um, cork bits that I've put on and hopefully it will take a, a, a good while to dry I would say because obviously I'm putting quite a thick coat on but you could you could uh, smoosh it around and put a thinner coat on for sure. I just wanted some uh, some blobs underneath to make my snowy blobs to give some height to my base so it wasn't just flat. And then I intend, once it is dry, to use either Snowdrift White from Reaper or Blue Flame, very, very, very watered down. Uh, to add a little blue tint in places. That is that is the plan. So can you see, I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing. Uh, it's kind of like built building up slightly. Oh that's better if I turn them right today. Kind of building up. It, and it looks like icing. So the rule of Tony, if it looks like food, it must be okay. Anytime. Mm -hmm. That's how it works, isn't it? Uh Roy says thanks. It is already better than a week ago, but the symptoms do not add up to all the results. So that's that's really rubbish. I hope well, I really hope that they uh, that they figure it out sooner rather than later. Hopefully, your bloods will come back and have some information for them. And they'll go. Oh, yeah, it's that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's that. Oh, you just need these tablets for that, and that's sorted. That's what we're hoping for. That's what we're hoping. Well, Wicked D says, right, gotta shoot and pick the child and the pup. Why, where they be? What are you doing? You can't abandon us. What are you messing about at? See you later, Wicked D. Uh... I'm using an old uh, brush to put this on. Uh, it would have been a lot easier if I'd have had a bigger brush. Uh, but this is the one I've got. So this is what I am using. What is it? Uh, it's an old Javis 
zero sized paintbrush. Uh, but I suppose it's given me a chance to spread stuff out a bit better and whatever. There are various tools which would probably be a lot better to use, but this is uh, this is what I have. So there you go. That's what you picked up. That's that's what I picked up, and now I'm just going to carry on with it. Just going to carry on, despite the fact that it's really not the best tool to be using. I, I'm just going to carry on regardless. Wiki Day says pups been at the uh, <laughs> rents all day, and the child decided to invade them for tea. Oh, that's always good. That's where ours is. To be fair, yeah. having, having tea with grandma, it's just much more fun having tea with grandma than boring parents. So, yeah, we make her have like veg. Well, to grandma be fair, makes her have more veg than we do. She yeah. even makes her grow it in the garden. Like, go pick it and then we can eat it. We just get out from the supermarket. Uh, says, Sorry, I can't type. Not slept more than four hours per night last week. Oh, that's poop. But that is enough about me. Love the mini and like to see that base. It ends up, it looks interesting. Un interesting is, is a word that gets used a lot when I do stuff because it's not particularly the most conventional ways of doing things. But uh, but yes, hopefully it'll turn out all right. We, we, shall, we shall all see together, because I'm not sure either, to be fair, right? So who, who knows? <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? And you're doing uh, the Demigorgon Demonic Lasher for yep. the large group RCL in our Discord, aren't you? That's right. Because it's demonic for this theme. And obviously those need to be in by the before the end of this month so that I can get all the pictures together and submit them to the Reaper Challenge League. So you've just started yours yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. What, what's... Uh... <laughs> it's all right, Grog, because I'll let you off. What's, uh, what's your plan with it, then? What, what do you mean? Oh, so, so um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the basin. Uh, I'm going to get these teeth done. Then we're going to do the fur. The fur is going to be brown, like a, a dark brown. And then... Uh, yeah, we're going to give him pink eyes. And we're going to add a little bit of a blue tint on his scales. We did those nightmare black last night. Which is uh, is a blue hue? No, not nightmare black. Sorry, indigo, uh, black indigo, black indigo. So it's a, a blue hue. Blue hue. Have you got the glue? Yeah, yeah. Blue hue. Have you got the glue? Uh, Mad Fox says, is the finish on the snow smooth, or does it get a rough surface? Well, it's uh, it dries very very hard. It's going to be really hard for me to show you, but this uh, this mini my. Uh, Pegasus has has this on the base, so this is it. Can you hear how uh, it's really it's really hard and it is rough. Uh, it is it is a rough finish when uh, when it's done and it's and it's like rock rock hard. And then obviously you can put varnish or whatever over the top to. Uh, but it is it is rough because it's because uh, it's sand. So it is as you would probably imagine. Uh, on the old roughness but this is just it's not going to be in a game or anything like that so it's all right i'm going to use this glue which you know we sell <laughs> yeah we've just got some more today because we'd run out it's good stuff in fact, saying it's good stuff, it's possibly the best super glue I've used. Um, Gets clogged up quite a lot. Yeah, it's uh, it's excellent value for money as well. Does it still do five fifty? Uh, I think it might have just gone up ever so slightly, but it's not crazy expensive. It's cheaper than most branded super glues, and you get a healthy amount. It's uh, it's good stuff. It's good gear. Right. 
It still says it's three pound fifty. So if it's going up, maybe get some now. Yeah. <laughs> so this is I'm using, currently using a mixture of nuclear white and aged. Bone John the Templar is enjoying to do, this stream to do these teeth. Uh, so this will be the final highlight. So I've just put slightly too much on that one. Just trying to put very light little uh, highlights towards the tips. That'll do. Oh, you go, you see? Mad Fox says, nice, I use sand mixed with emulsion. Make it like a cement-like consistency for earth on my bases. Never thought of using PVA. Yeah, I was just because that's what I've got. Uh, I've got I've got PVA, it's in the cupboard. So. But it's probably the same kind of thing, it's re really hard. There we go. Well, yeah, but you were busy talking, so I didn't want to interrupt. Uh, so there we go. There is... Uh, that's, that's his teeth done. That's his, uh, that's his teeth done. So there's differences between, there's three different uh, versions, John the Templar. There is blue, and blue is really, really thin. Uh, really thin. Uh, so much so that it's very easy for it to run out of the bottle without you really realising and get it entirely everywhere. Uh, yellow is kind of the midpoint, and red is very thick. We're talking about the super glues, by the way. So I've got a blue cap one here, and because it goes everywhere, it's uh, if I just move this guy out of the way, because it goes everywhere, it's very prone to getting blocked up. So this one is actually blocked up at the moment, but I don't know if you uh, if you can maybe see how that's kind of sloshing around in the bottle. I don't know. I don't know. If it's hard to hard to show it off. I'll take the label off. No, you can't really see. It's really, really sloshing around in there. Uh, anyway, yeah, you can make, you can maybe just see. It. Uh, so my intention with this is that when we've kind of half run out of yellow, that I'm going to mix the two together. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very, very easy to get it all over you. Blue one, especially. You. Especially me, because I'm like super clumsy, and I haven't tried. You can buy like different tips from some of the manufacturers. Green Stuff World do some, and uh, a couple of others that we stock. Colour Forge, I think, do a set of different tips you can put in your super glue. Excuse me, um, but I haven't tried those to see if they fit yet. <clears throat> Right, let's get back to uh, Demogorgon. So we need some nice, vibrant pink for his eyes. And what I think I'm going to try uh, for that is, uh, is giving him a blob of uh, Volupus pink in each eye, which is a contrast paint. Because I don't tend to have many pinks on my painting table, and they're all currently in the cupboard. So we're going to try a nice big below a Volupus pink on each one and see what that looks like. So I'm going to use this uh, swanky new brush, which I'm really enjoying. You can see like how full bodied it is. Hopefully, so you can uh, load it nicely up with paint. About this sand PVA mix is that if it dries slightly, then you can add things like uh, footprints and stuff because you can just put some dents in it. And it's thick enough 
that you can hide these um, raised bases so that they look like they're not sat on top of the base. And you see how that, that I've covered that one's base uh, in the in the stuff. The bold gem says, but that is the whole purpose of super glue, isn't it? To go everywhere and he's so clumsy. <laughs> like, it would, it, it'd be stuck to a desk where I'd walk back in one day and it'd just be stuck to a desk going, oh, help me, I've stuck myself to the desk. <laughs> I think it is a rigger brush, Tony, you're right. Because um, it's so, uh, so long. Probably better suited for like watercolours or something like that, but I'm, uh, I'm really liking it at the moment. Uh, Mad Fox, any tips on how to dull down army painter paints without using varnish? I like a matte finish to paints, but they give a gloss or semi-gloss finish, which I hate. I completely agree, that's entirely why I don't use army painter paints anymore, because it did my head in. Um, yeah, Tony says, Green Stuff World Max Matte Brush on Varnish. Uh, but if you don't want to use a varnish, have you tried adding some matte medium into your, uh, which is an additive that Vallejo make? Uh, we sell it. Yep, absolutely we do. Uh, so you could use this. This is a brush on varnish if you don't want to use a spray varnish. But um, and, it, and it is and it is really top draw stuff. Uh, or if you know, while we're on the subject of varnish, the Color Forge. Matte varnish spray is also fantastic. Can't, uh, can't tell you how good that stuff is enough. But uh, if you want to get it in right at the start of the process, uh, Vallejo matte medium, you can just put a little bit of that in with your paints and that should really change the finish. Or um, I think Insta do a, a matte additive as well. It's probably called Matte Plus. I don't think I've got. Oh no, I have got some here. Look, here's one. Here's one I made earlier. Here's some uh, Vallejo matte medium from my uh, from my paint rack. What else have I got stashed down the bottom of here? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, matte fluff. <laughs> matte Matt fluff on there. Mm -mm. Yeah, I thought that was it. Right, my uh, wet palette is drying out. I can see it drying out. So let's uh, let's revitalize it. I think I'll try that. The layer. Just uh, just do this. Right. I think I'll try that Vallejo additive. Does that go in the bottle or just on the palette? I've I've never tried mixing it into the bottle. Uh, I've only ever used it uh, to mix with the paint on the palette. Uh, and you don't need much, just a couple of drops. Tiny, tiny bit. Uh, it's clear in the bottle. So it's got like a little bit of a whiteness to it when it's all, all there, but. I, I would test it though. Don't don't yeah. don't do it on a, on a model that you're really uh, loving. Give it give it a little yeah. test on on something first, on a, yeah. on a model you're not so bothered about, and see see what results you get. Yeah, uh, but, definitely. But that's just me. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> couple of uh, couple of drops should be fine. Kurunoka, I think Mrs. MLG has a bright future in cake decorating. <laughs> I think we'll leave that to Lady Pikachu in the Discord. Uh, certainly not me. If I start getting hungry though and start eating it, you'll have to shout at me and go, "No, don't forget, it's not icing." La Lady Pikachu, what does Lady Pikachu mean? Yeah, cakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, currently making an Avengers cake is uh, Lady cool. Pikachu. I believe I've got. I believe I've got the lady's name correct. Uh, I'm sure someone will tell me if I haven't and go, "No, it's not that, you yeah. silly sausage." Awesome. Is it look? Is it looking all right? Can we get the kind of feel? So that's where the cork was, uh, over there, just to just to add a little bit of height to it, uh, and that was the idea with that. 
Yes, yeah, that's, that's the Avengers cake. cake. That's uh, yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? It makes me hungry every time she puts them on. The Hulk fists. Yes, there's some cake toppers and the Hocus Pocus cake toppers that, that she was doing as well. I think I think samples need to be sent out. I think that's where we could be sample tasters for. Her. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that that's you know a requirement. I saw a uh, I saw a pretty cool Space Marine cake today that somebody had put on uh, Facebook. It was the whole thing was shaped like a Space Marine helmet, and it looked really awesome. What was that? Uh, what was that? That cake that we went to an opening of a new game shop. We were invited, weren't we? And we went along, and they had that, and they had that cake in the shape of. I don't know. You want a tyranny, don't you? It was it began with a C. I can't remember. What it, you remember? They, can you even remember the event? Nope. Can't you? <laughs> because that's not boding well for you remembering what I'm talking about. Really. But it was cool cake, and somebody had made it for their opening, and it was some kind of creature from. Uh, D and D or Games Workshop or whatever, like I don't know. I want to say like Carcassonne, but that's a board game, so it's definitely not that. I can't remember ever going somewhere where we got cake. Yeah, it was. We didn't actually get to eat any of it. It was just on display. Yeah. I think I think the shop we, we travelled somewhere. I don't even know why we went. Well, we we went because we were invited and and you wanted to go, but it wasn't around here. We'd we'd gone. I don't know if it was in Nottingham or whatever. We went up the stairs and they hadn't quite finished the stairs and they were all rickety and made of wood. Maybe it was just a dream. <laughs> no, it was definitely, it was definitely <laughs> real honest. <laughs> I definitely don't remember that. Yes, that's right. Lady Pikachu is making a gloom spike its army uh, for I think is it red? Is it? it? Is it, is it Red's missus? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't want to marry off people when, I'm, when I can't quite remember. But yeah, Hubby's, Hubby's going to paint it and uh, Lady P is sticking it together. Which cool. is the wrong way around for me. The music's gone off again, hasn't it? Oh, this is very annoying. Oh, he's eight bit Oh, God. Sorry, Red. <laughs> that was my second choice. <laughs> Sorry, Lady P, I married you off to the wrong, uh, wrong person. I'll have to move your camera again. No, I've done it, don't. It's fine. Let me try and get the... Uh, where's my... I don't know what it's doing. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not being very talky. Because right, I'm concentrating, so I want to do a good job on this guy. It's, uh, so I've mixed some black indigo with some... Whatever this was that I uh, used. Some blue RLM 65 Azul model air because uh, I thought it would make a, uh, a cool highlight to the uh, black indigo. So I'm just going to mix it step by step in to make a, uh, a little highlight for it. I could dry brush it. Gizmo's come in with another piece of wood. I don't have any wood left in the garden, so mm -hmm. I don't know where he finds it all. Thankfully, he doesn't eat it, he just chews it and spits it out, and then I have to go around cleaning up after him. Uh, but he does enjoy yeah, was, chewing it, stuff. There was a big lump under my desk this morning. Oh, did I miss that? It's fine. I shall forgive you. After, uh, after last night's stream, we went and watched House of Dragons. Which is rubbish, it's rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Yeah, didn't, didn't enjoy last night's episode. In fact, that, that's kind of been our review so far. <laughs> didn't enjoy last night's episode. Yeah, had, to fast for, had to fast forward. Had to fast because I want it to be good. Uh, had to fast forward through some sections. Not uh, not our cup of tea. Without uh, spoiling anything too much. But afterwards, we did find Supernatural on uh, one of the streaming services. So we watched the first episode of that. Was it Coronaco was telling us where to was. go? Thank you, Coronaco. We found it, Coronaco. We found it. We've only watched one episode, which obviously just kind of sets the scene. So no reviews of it yet. Uh, the ending of uh, the first episode is a bit strange. Didn't really understand the ending. Uh, but yeah, we will reserve judgment as we have only watched one episode. Do you think I can make little snowballs look? That looks like a little snowball. Maybe they could be like fighting. What kind yeah. of Pikachu is that, Pete? 
Mm. There's a very disturbing face on that Pikachu. Mm, looks, like he's, looks like he's having a really good time. <laughs> yes, million carrots. Gizmo likes carrots, but um, just like our Greyhound, they do send him really whappy and make him run around uh, doing um, zoomies for some reason. They used to send the Greyhound really nuts. There's just one carrot and that'd be it. He'd be off. Uh, Bold GM says, I've been binge watching Supernatural the whole week. Well, this is our first attempt. First attempt at uh, Supernatural. It was very hard to find a streaming service in our country that had it. But Coronoco pointed us in the correct direction, so we're all right. Yeah. They all look so young. I see. I, I don't know how they look at the end. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I did think that was it Sam, is that is that one of the brothers? That Sam looks like... Um, what did I say he looked like last night? I can't remember. You just kept saying... G- he looks He no. looks like somebody. He looks like... Oh, MacGyver, MacGyver yes. MacGyver. The, the, the new MacGyvers. He looks like him uh, in, in the first episode, at least. Tony says, I've just finished watching season 15. Is he, what? Gee whiz. Is that how many there is? Really? This should keep you busy for a while, sweetie. Wow. You. That's... Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> I didn't know there was that many. Really that many? Really? <laughs> wow. Yes, you're still watching the original Star Trek, aren't you? Yes, and you've been decorating. You're such a busy bee, Tony. Such a busy bee. Season one of Supernatural is very Monster of the Week. But it gets go oh, so okay. It gets going in season two, so we need to. If we get a bit fed up, we need to stick it out. Right. Uh, so that's all right. Yeah, it was just the end. Um. It just it, the, the monstery thing at the end it, it just didn't make sense <laughs> you know because I want my sci-fi nonsense fantasy programs about monsters to make sense obviously so, well, well it did make sense well yeah but I don't understand why it went all weird uh, okay. it, it certainly impacted on my uh, on my dreams last night you anyway. know Oh, that snowball's not as round. Look, that's that's not. I made a pair of boobs now on my. Uh, that's, mm. that's not very good, is it? Oh dear, snow boobs. <laughs> snow boobs. Gizmo don't like the uh, snow boobs. This is getting worse. And he says, I like ghost faces, they're hilarious. Oh, what's, what's that? What's that? Have oh, I said that wrong? We watched Critters last night, says Karenoka, and we enjoyed it so much. We're watching Critters 2 tonight. Yay! Uh, well, oh, my email pop up has covered up what Bold Gem said. Go away, email pop up. Uh, Bold Gem says, There are big mistakes in the series. Burning bones with lighter fluid is not possible. But hey, it's a scary mature version of Buffy. Yes, yes, we have to make allowances for such programs. Uh, if we if we think about them too much, then they just it all falls apart, doesn't it? <laughs> Definitely can't uh, can't tell people how to really dispose of bodies. That would be. Uh... Irresponsible. So there we go. And now it needs to. <laughs> <laughs> not your body, but now it needs to dry. So that's kind of what it what it looks like. Ghost faces are a group of amateur ghost hunter hacks who keep turning up in supernatural. Oh, we haven't got there yet. We haven't. We haven't got there. Is that like me and my friends? We go ghost hunting. Is that like just just rocking up? <laughs> so I'm thinking. What do you all think? I'm thinking about adding a little blue tinge. Do you think it needs a little blue tinge? Uh, let's have a. Let's wash that brush so it doesn't go rock hard, and I can use it next time. Move my. So that's. I've never used it all. Really, there's a bit left. So it has a slight shrinky. It might need some more around the edges when it's dry. Um. Hi, Sam! 
Thank you very much. Are you are you Sam Sam from Brid? Uh, are you different a different Sam? Is that is that your last name? Because that's an unusual last name if it is. Um, anybody use GW contrast? Oh, words I can use the words I can't say, Sharon. Sigvald Burgundy and got some brassy finish on recesses. Really weird effect, but actually pretty interesting. Oh, oh, no. a coppery type thing. Have you used that? I've not used, used Sigvald Burgundy yet. No, that's one of the new ones, isn't it? Erica says to put some blue on. I'm going to put some blue on because Karen Oakle says if it all goes wrong, it's Karen Oakle's fault. <laughs> not really, not really. That doesn't sound like wood, Gizmo. What you got, mate? What is that? What is that? What is oh, it? right. He's going to get a smacked bum. No, it's eating. I don't even know where he's got that from. I have a question for my dear husband. Is your toolbox open? Uh, yeah, it doesn't have a lid. This is what Gizmo is chilling. Oh, what? How has he got that? Oh, it's not got a lid. No, but that should done... be in a packet with like the other ones of the same tool. So thankfully, he doesn't swallow these things, but uh, that's why I have to keep an eye on him. <sighs> ah, dearie, dearie, dearie me. Koenoka says, uh, Sharon, I used it on silver, gold, and white. It looks amazing on all of them. Oh, I see. This is this is good then. If that's a a good uh, effect, and this picture in Discord, awesome for anybody that wants to take a look. And that's super cool. There uh, is a Pokemon in chat for all of those using the. Uh, Using the community Pokemon game. That was weird. No idea how he's even managed to get that out because they're in a packet and the rest of the packet was closed. And I'm positive that that one was in there as well. So. <laughs> he's looking at me like I'm proper mean now. I've taken it off him. Oh, yeah. Take it off me, you so mean. <laughs> It's all right, mate. Go and get, go and get actually one of your toys. How about that? We uh, we go charity shop shopping to try and find him teddies because uh, no toy lasts very long, and then he likes to rip the teddies up and take all the stuffing out and I have to tidy that up as well. Um, but there just aren't any. It's really bizarre. It's like the charity shops know that nobody's donating, so they've put everything up to ridiculous amounts of money, and there just aren't any uh, teddies or anything. Just silly. So I'm going to smooth that across there. Uh, this is my Snowdrift White. So it's it's white, but it's like a really really super pale blue. So it's. And I'm going to add get out of the Geek Saving Gaming box. I'm going to add lots of lovely little water to it very very slowly with my paintbrush because I can't actually see where the water pot is. Wait. Stop it. Mixy, 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 mixy. So it's really runny now. And you see, you see how runny it is. It soaks straight in on the paper towel. And then we're going to see about adding some. Let's see what happens. It's, it's not really very blue. It really, it needs a maybe more purpley colour, isn't it? Oh, Karen Oka and John caught the Pokemon. Oh, it rhymed as well, boys. Karanoko and John got the Pokemon. <laughs> You're a lyrical mm, master. That's not. <laughs> uh, look like they're co covering up the scene of a crime. They do, don't they? This is like a body over there or something. Well, it is an attack pack, isn't it? So maybe they are, you never know. I'm going to try, uh, what's this one? Uh, I can't read it anymore. Blue Flame. Slightly bluer. Let's see. Because that blue is a bit deeper. Which, which blue is the poop blue? Well, it's not blue, it's Snowdrift White, but it was more like a lilac colour. Yeah. I didn't want it to be like, there's a load of blue. 
I want it to be a bit more subtle. But what do we think to that? That's that's better. That's a better blue for the really really pale pale blue with lots of water. Using my best tag at verse. There's been a murder. That's that's <laughs> I. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that. I apologise to everybody. Tag it. Can't remember the last time I ever watched that. Hey, we can do. You've missed uh, Gizmo eating. What was it? A drill bit. Yeah, a drill bit. Eating a drill bit just for a laugh because we're not paying any attention to him. He's missing John. You see, he wanted to come come back on and say hello to John. Those lump. Yes, yes. We, we've decided that the penguins have, have uh, attacked somebody, and the lumps are the bodies uh, under the the ice because you know that's how we're rolling. Sam, Sam never answered me, did he? I didn't see Sam answer me. Whether it was Sam from Bridlington. Sam from Brid. With the uh, with the last name that, of the father that we know. <laughs> or just some of the random... Maybe I've scared him off. Or her off. Could be a girl and I've just asked. Are you uh, so-and-so's son? Uh, no hope for me really, is there? No. It's a good job you've got me. It is, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so, what do we think? How's that looking? Obviously, when it's dry, I will uh, I will show you uh, better when it is dry. But currently, it is wet. <laughs> uh, we've been we've been watching Forged in Fire, and me saying that then just reminded me of the gentleman who cuts things and goes, "It would cut." <sighs> There's no hope. There's no hope for me. Doug Markada. Brought a wicked, wicked decent. Brought a woofing for the dog today for his birthday. What's a woofing? Is it his birthday today? Is it? Is it for his birthday today? What's a woofing when it's on? Bronoka says we quote Taggart every time the sparrowhawk has left a pile of pigeon feathers in the garden. Mm. Yes, we have a we have a sparrowhawk that likes to eat the pigeons. Uh, we hope very much that it doesn't eat them in our garden because it does upset Little Miss. And I do say to her that it is just feeding itself and its family, unlike the cat that likes to kill the birds in the garden, that just leaves them and doesn't actually want them. So at least the sparrowhawk's doing it for a legitimate reason. But yes. Uh, oh, thanks, Sean. Is it, is it okay? Okay. A dog, a doggy muffin. Ah, happy birthday, Finn! Finn's one today. Just because Finn won the birthday song, Wicked Dean. Because, you know, can. <laughs> can if he wants. A, a, a doggy muffin. He wouldn't do anything like that for Gizmo. We we're so horrible parents. In fact, we left him with Grandma and went to Comic Con to work. Oh, oh, and he's come crying now. What? You don't, did you hear me saying you didn't get a doggy muffin? Yeah. Poor how, Gizmo. How long did Doggy Muffin last? Oh, he's, he's not bothered. <laughs> Fair enough. If it is your birthday, anybody, we do have a birthday song. Just shout up and uh, we can play when it's your birthday. That is not a problem. Finn doesn't want it, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, how, how was how was Doggy Muffin? Give it give us a rating out of five for Doggy Muffinness. That paper show you're using is massive. Yeah. Isn't it? That's weird. Is it? Is it weird? It's, it's really good. Oh, he's not allowed it yet. He's not allowed it until after his tea. Oh, it's proper mum, is it? He can't have the treats until after your tea. So, mm -hmm. so go on then. How is the paintbrush? Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it, actually. It's. Uh, Does it not feel like you're not in control? No, no. It's. I would say like more control, if anything. I'll lend you it, and you can have a go. Well, I don't want to ruin it. It just looked to me like I would feel. If it didn't, I didn't have any control over it, like it was just going to bend out of the way. You know no, what I mean? No, it's no, nice. I can only see it. I've never used it, but I can, yeah, I can see it. It's quite, quite, uh, it's quite stiff. And I've, and I've been washing the entire length of it. It's not like I've, uh, I've not cleaned the whole thing to keep it stiff. It's, it's going really well. But then I'm only applying paint to the very, very end because... 
I want to be careful with it. But yeah, it's uh, it's going really well. Performing excellently. I'm finished now. What am I going to do? I don't know. So, so what are you gonna maybe do? a recap. So I used uh, Ben and Clegg sand that we, that we sell, which is uh, only one ninety nine for this great big, great big tub of sand. And I use PBA glue, which we also sell as well. And I use cork. Guess what? We sell that too. And I used the Jamie's paint. Ah, Reaper's here. Reaper's here as we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> and we either oh, use Hi, well. everyone. Hey, Reaper. How we doing? How is everyone? Hope you're uh, all having a great day. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. We've got a, a few minutes left before the end of the stream. Uh, I'm over here painting the uh, demonic lasher from Bones Five. Yeah, you have to hold it up so that we can uh, so that we can. There we go. Let's, uh, let's clean, clean my brush. Oh, Pando wants some cookies, everybody. Pando's sulking because he's hungry. Uh, yep. So, what's, uh, what's been happening over? Who who went to ReaperCon from from Reaperland people? Who went to ReaperCon? Thank you, Jill. Tip. That's very Thank good. you very much. Yeah. So uh, here is my demonic lasher. Quite pleased with how he's uh, turning out so far. And I have made a snowy base for the Reaper penguins. I'm using snow and PVA and um what is it blue flames don't think they make any more do they do they still make this one yellow bottle label uh, I, I, I can't, can't remember it. if that one has been repackaged as one of the others i always end up with the yellow label ones that we don't sell anymore <laughs> <laughs> and this is cork we did decide earlier that this is dead bodies from the attack pack penguins killing people but you know each to their own um so yeah that's what i've done made, made that while we've been here We've only got five minutes left. It's very nice of you all to come and see us. Yeah, super. Thank you. If you're all still here, you might have gone, no, and all disappeared. <laughs> I don't know, my give screen us, says that there's still people here. Give us, give us a wave. Let us know you're here. Give us a wave. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, and, and John's taking care. John, Tony, and Wiki D are all taking care of Pando. He'll be, he'll be fat now. <laughs> The murderous penguins are disposing of their latest victim. That's right, that's right, Tony. That's what we've decided, isn't it? So I don't know what it's going to look like when it's dry. Uh, I might, I like, I quite like this like shiny because it's wet, uh, shiny effect. Oh, blue flame is still well done, Karanoko. Thank you. It's just when it's a, when it's a yellow label, uh, I know that they are either repackaged or no longer available. Yeah, it'll be uh, be under under a different code. So yeah. it'll be a I can't even see nine four code. now. So, so there we go. So that's 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 the only reason. Right. Where's me? Thank you, my box. Uh, we're here Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Mondays eight o'clock. Tuesdays six o'clock. Wednesdays eight o'clock. There you go. That's that's what we do. That's yeah. what we do. And we have a we have a family friendly discord as well where we all chat and we have lots of uh, lots of painting challenges going on in the discord including the great mlg brush off uh, where we give you a word this month's word is magic Actually, send the camera for me then magic maybe i am magic look send the camera for you uh, and we all paint miniatures from any manufacturer around that theme. And we also have a channel for the Reaper Challenge League, of course. Um, because, you know, we all love Reaper. In fact, we're both painting new things to prove. Yeah. Just realised that this penguin, his eye is no longer black. His eye, his, I've just forgotten to paint that penguin's eyes. I'm fairly sure I had <laughs> painted that penguin's eyes. But obviously I haven't. I am going to use Vallejo oh, Glossy Black because I like this one. And I'm going to... Oh, dog, that sounds more like a twig dog. Oh, that's a bit of whatever, whatever plant that is. Yeah. It's not It's not dangerous, so we're all right. I can't remember what, what it is. Uh, I can't remember the purple, the purple balls. It's not an owl, Al is it? Allium. Is it? He's eating, yeah. it. He's eating Allium now. So I'm going to paint this. 
this thing was on while you tell yes. us uh, how you got on over there. Did, uh, I've got a question. Did anybody uh, anybody that might be raiding go to Reapcon? How? Uh, sorry? I asked that. Did you? Oh, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, how was it if you if you went? Is it is it cool? We've never been to a Reapcon. I, I would definitely like to go and, and check it out. So what am I doing? I'm uh, using a mixture of black indigo, which is a Reaper colour, and uh, Vallejo uh, RLM 65. Oh, thank you for following, uh, Zachariah. Zachariah, I am. Um... Was that a song or something? What? Is that a song or poem or? Why, does, why is that really familiar? I don't know. Oh, it's going to be annoying now, isn't it? Nathan, will you be working towards a pinkish flesh colour towards the snout of the lasher? Yes, what's the... Oh, you weren't going to wait. I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> what I I could tell from his, from his yeah. paws. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't planning on it. I, uh, I was going to go with this, uh, this kind of grey-white colour. I'm quite happy with how it's looking, to be fair. So, this is, this is currently how it's how it's going uh, I don't know we'll see oh, Zachariah I've been to about 11 Reapcons and they're all quite cool this one was very nice good hotel great classes good vendors fun times yeah so it'd be a long way for us to go to be a uh, be a trader a vendor wouldn't it but uh, should be pretty cool maybe one day we'll get there we uh, we like to think that we're uh, possibly the uh, oh, so Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime in, in chat. Possibly the largest stockist of Reaper in the UK, outside of Reaper themselves. So, would be nice for us to get over there and get involved. I've not, uh, I've never been to another game store that has as much uh, Reaper in stock as us. Tony says, that's fine, just curious. I don't know, we'll, we'll see, Tony. Once I've done the fair and stuff, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a look at making some other upgrades to uh, its appearance. The open competition is really good stuff. Oh, painting competition, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, um, some of the entries look absolutely fantastic. The uh, standard looks amazing. Way way beyond my skill level, but uh, would be would be fantastic to look at. A bit like um, kind of the the Golden Demon Awards that GW used to run years ago. They still do it, but when uh, the last time I ever went to a, a event where there was a Golden Demon running, there was lots and lots of people just queuing up to submit their minis. To be uh, to be looked at in the cabinets, and you kind of think, how how can the judges get round all those figures in the space of a day? But I guess they must have must have a team of people kind of looking to see the uh, the standard of the minis on the show, pointing them in the right directions. Kind of liking that. Don't want to go too much lighter than that. On the uh, on the edge of those little armor plates. So it's got nice, just the fur, really to go, and then we'll see see how he looks once that's all done. Oh, Tony, can't miss the man. Fair enough. Says I'd love to go to Rubicon. I'm only a lottery win away. Yeah, same same as us. Same yeah. as us. Yeah, these are my sofas. But, but Nathan's going to tell us about his mini. Oh, I thought I just had. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, uh, so, so I went on a little shopping spree uh, in our shop, and I got some Sophies because these are my favourite ones. So next time we do a duo or a trio, I'll be going. Anybody got this Sophie? Anybody got this Sophie? <laughs> so that I can get her painted up. But there are so many cool, cool Sophie minis that these are some of my favourite ones. 
So I have I have this heap now of Sophie's uh, to paint. So yeah, so there'll be anybody want to do this for a duo or a trio uh, next month? Because look, look at all the Sophie's that I've got. So they're cool. I'm a little daunted by them, but it'll it'll be fine, won't it? Yeah, it'll be awesome. Oh, Sharon's just got the graveyard one. Which one's that? Uh, the Halloween one? No. Which one's the graveyard one? Is it the Halloween one? Is it one that I haven't got then? <laughs> or, or is it this one? I, th I thought I'd got the one with the... There's one with the gravestone, isn't there? I thought I'd got that one, but she's not here. Right. Unless I'm being really blind. I thought you'd got the... Because I, I went and picked them, I thought that they'd... Uh... I will try to find some time to hunt through my pile of opportunity this evening for our duo, Tony. What's the graveyard one? Yeah, it's got a it's got a gravestone, hasn't it? I thought I'd got that. I thought she sat on it, didn't she? I've got a uh, reclining Sophie to paint. Maybe that's what we should do for large group for the next quarter. What, just because we've got some? Yeah, do Sophie's. Everybody do a different Sophie. No, I've not got that one. I thought I had, but I haven't. Oh. I thought does I had, that, does that I mean haven't. I'm, does that mean I'm bringing you one of them home? Yeah, yeah, because I thought... I, I probably got scared and went, oh, no, that's enough. But yeah, look at the birdies, Sophie's. <laughs> I got the pirate, yeah I've got the pirate, this one, that one, I've got the pirate one, with the little parroty sidekick, there's a, lot of, there's a lot going on there though isn't there, there's a lot of detail on her, uh, on her costume, yeah, yeah I've got a reclining one too, look she's there, I mean you yeah. could do a duo, she's looking very happy on that treasure pile. Look at me on my treasure pile. Yes, then, don't you? I don't know if I've just given you my. You might have just given me yours. Yeah, that would make more sense. Make me pay for it and then just give me yours. That's no, no, no. I've paid for it already. Right, paid for it already. Thank you very much. Right. We were going to arrange a duo. I was going to say through my phone. I've done it like, uh, what have I missed? So, my darling. Yes. Yeah. It's, um, it's stream time. Is it? Mm. Oh. I do, I do hope some of the Reaper folk uh, are still here. It was very nice of you to come along, even though, you know, we call it hostages when we raid people because you don't really have any choice, do you? Uh, but no, that's super cool. Uh, we do stream tomorrow at 8 o'clock UK time uh, when you can see what we've been doing. But this is mine so far and, and hopefully it'll dry by tomorrow. Hopefully it'll dry overnight and then I can show people on the Discord. Might need a few more blobs in places once it's dry but that's not an issue so there you go and what have you uh, what have you been up to you gonna hold it not uh, i am yeah i'm just gonna put this lid back on here sharon says that she'd love a sophie large group yeah we'd have to we'll have to put it to the vote won't we i like his teeth thank you so yeah there he is i'm really quite pleased with him actually he's uh looks scary he's, yeah should do He's a uh, he's a massive monster that can eat everybody. And Nathan, you might have given me the push to finish my demo. <laughs> ah, you've been on with one of these as well, Sharon. It's a uh, it's a fantastic mini. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the base, but uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I'm really liking how this guy's turned out. Fur tomorrow. That's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Get his fur done and uh, hooves and stuff and then little little embellishments kind of wish kind of i've just noticed well i've noticed it earlier on but there's a little mold line just here and that's kind of bugging me a little bit but i'm not gonna i'm not doing it now I'm not messing about with it now you can't see it from the front so uh, take, take care about about yeah, and hope everything gets sorted soon yeah take there care everybody hope cool. we see you tomorrow yeah see you later everyone thank, thank you for coming bye, bye.